Hey guys, Colin here. The look I want to talk about today is created simply out of a G minor triad and an F sharp fully diminished seventh chord. First, just go down four notes of G minor and then up four notes of F sharp diminished seventh. You'll then see E flat can go just a half step to D to get back to G minor. From there, the A goes a nice half step into B flat. And then here, F sharp into G. I typically recommend learning everything up and down the entire range of your instrument, whatever that is. So for example, on the saxophone, it might sound something like this. You may have noticed that I just added one note on the way back up the horn, which is an E natural to the G minor chord. Here you have a couple cool options, like maybe going down the minor six chord, or you could go up the minor six chord. You may have heard these ideas from guys like Bird, Diz, Barry Harris. I definitely recommend listening to all of these guys. Um, but the last one I want to talk about is an important one, which is after you've transcribed something or learned something from these jazz masters, how do you come up with something of your own based on these ideas? So I'm going to show you two things I just came up with today. First, I took the four notes of G minor 6 and the four notes of F sharp diminished 7, and I combined them to make this eight note scale. And while I never really play that scale up and down, I did find some cool combinations of playing to, skipping to, and repeating this pattern like this. I took that through the range of my instrument, and I thought it kind of sounded like late 50s Coltrane. This last thing I came up with is just going to alternate going up four notes of a chord, this time G minor 6, and then down the scale for two notes. Then you're going to go up a chord for four notes again, this time it's F sharp diminished, and then down two notes of the scale. Okay, I lied. I said I was going to come up with two, but I actually just came up with a third one that I think I like better than those two anyways. That one is just a simple pattern that goes up four notes of G minor, down three notes of F sharp, and then up four, down three, making a seven note pattern. Well, let me know what you think, and definitely share if you come up with anything of your own. Always happy to hear it, and try improvising with some of the stuff.